Hey, this is Ray Evangelista, and I wanted to talk to you guys today about extension cords and how dangerous they are and the proper way to plug and unplug them. A lot of times what people do is they'll just grab an extension cord, wherever it might be, this one's outside today, and instead of unplugging it the right way, they'll just pull on the extension cord to unplug it instead of actually grabbing it up here and unplugging it, and then when you plug it back in, just plugging it back in the normal way like that. So what happened years ago is Nordstrom's had an employee that was vacuuming floor and he had either 50 to 100 feet of extension cord out. He'd vacuum to the end of the extension cord and then he would yank the extension cord and then go plug it into another outlet. Well, one day this didn't work out so well for him. What ended up happening is that the shielding on the wire from him yanking it so many times had actually peeled off a little bit and was damaged. And apparently he did not recognize that. And he grabbed onto the cord and was getting electrocuted and what happened is a little bit later on the fire department actually got a phone call for a sprinkler going off in a particular area of the building and the person was actually against the wall holding the outlet kind of cuddled up kind of against the wall like this holding the outlet like that and what happened is he actually caught on fire from the 110 electricity going through his body the way that it did and it actually set him on fire and then set off a sprinkler uh, system as part of it. So you always want to inspect the cords, make sure that they're okay and that you don't have any pulling on them or any damage to the cord. OSHA rules is that once the cord gets damaged, you know, the, the rule for OSHA is that the cord always needs to maintain the original installation on, insulation on the cord going the entire length of it. And you're not able to, you know, if you get a nick in it or something like that, you're not able to just tape it up. The, the, the law actually requires that it maintains the original insulation the entire length of the cord. If you're doing exterior work like this, you really should have a GFC outlet on. Now today's a really sunny day and I'm not worried about moisture here. Everything here is dry where I'm operating. I'm just charging a battery really quick, so it's just plugged in here. But typically, you would want to use a GFCI outlet on the exterior of the house to help keep anybody from possibly getting electrocuted. So, and when you unplug it, you always want to grab it like this to unplug it, and then you always want to plug it back in the same way. You never want to yank on the cord. And the problem, the reason that that person actually got electrocuted was that he actually couldn't let go. So there's numbers out there that talk about how much um, it requires uh, to in order to let go. And the thing what happens with the AC electricity is when you grab it, it makes your muscles pull in and contract. So when you actually grab a cord like this, instead of just like touching it with the back of your hand, or maybe just quickly like touching it, you know, that may not electrocute you. They say old electricians actually use the back of their hand if they're gonna to touch something to test it to see if it's alive. And the reason that they do is because if they touch it and it has electricity, the muscles are gonna contract and pull their muscle away from the electricity. But if you actually grab it, your muscles are gonna contract in another direction where they're gonna hold on. And the value for let go is something called 10 milliamps. Now, the electricity going to this right here is either 15 or 20 amps, not milliamps. So the value that you can let go at is significantly lower than what we have here at the house. Um, and, but that's the let go value. And uh, that's something you need to be careful of because, you know, like I said, if you touch it, it's one thing. But if you grab it, you're probably not going to be able to let go. I mean, you might because it is alternating current and it does have peaks and valleys and you might be able to get yanked off of it in one of the valleys but I'm going to say err towards the side of caution but the, the primary goal we're looking at here today is inspector cords make sure that they're okay this is just something on the surface of this probably from an old label that was on it and this cord is in good shape and it's okay but don't yank your cords because if you ever go to plug it in or something and it does damage the cord you can find yourself getting electrocuted okay so this is Ray if there's anything I can ever do for you you can give me a call at 201-424-1800 thanks a lot and have a blessed day